Hello, everybody. My name is Archer, and welcome to a game called Forgotten Mayhem. This is a... Uh, like a horror FPS, but... Normally, I wouldn't really touch horror FPS, but it looked really inspired by Half-Life, and I just got off the tail end of playing Black Mesa for the first time and finishing it, so I figured, why not? Now is a good time to give it a shot and see what it's like. Plus, it does actually intrigue me a lot. I, I, I've been craving, obviously, more Half-Life stuff, and... Seeing something that looks even vaguely similar, I'm like, okay, I'm on board. So we're going to see what this is about. Game may contain glitches which we're, uh, we are not aware of. You can help by contacting us about them. Oh. Use mouse to look around. Oh my god, the walking sound too. Wazdi to move around. <laughs> okay. I like the sprint meter at the bottom. Flashlight, of course. E to interact with doors? Ah, maybe this is more like Penumbra. But I saw a lot of uh, this in the trailer of just climbing things. Oh. Okay. Space bar to jump. Health bottle and an axe. Groovy. So far, I like the styling. I'm not sure how I feel about the head bobbing, but I do like the styling. Like, look at this. It's got some good atmosphere for just a demo. Like, I dig it. The secret is just throw fog and some 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 nice lighting on there. Some decent lighting. It doesn't have to be fancy lighting, but just the, the contrast between the dark right there. Mmm. Delicious. Left mouse to fire the axe. Where's the demon? I desire violence. Oh. I thought there was going to be, a, like, a jade back there. Yeah, see, I saw a lot of this. This was in the trailer specifically, and I'm like, oh, my, this is Half-Life. I, I want to, I want to, I, I want some more Half-Life-inspired things. Oh, here's a first aid kit. And here's a note. Leaving. This body is refusing the serum. It's been months, and I'm unable to see any results soon. I think we should take Se Septi's, Septi's body down. Septi's. Uh, I'm assuming ESL with the dialogue and some of the, the prompts I'm noticing. It's not too bad, but uh, definitely might need a pass depending on how wordy this gets. <laughs> Gotta take that guy's body down to the body place. Also, I'm noticing a, 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 a decent issue. I don't know if it's just me, but right here with the, the prop collision, essentially, you can't jump. It still thinks I'm midair. So you can see my character's hand readjust for the movement, but it's like a, like a slip, like a... This isn't a box, it's more like a, um, what am I thinking of? Like a circle, like a circle that tapers off. <laughs> Forgetting the name at the moment, God. <laughs> I'm gonna get skill issued in the comments about that, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep in mind, I haven't had my coffee. Oh, oh wait, here, gun. Oh. I got a gun. You better fuck off, demons, I got guns. I got a good old fashioned 1911 glunk thing. I like the weird 30 extrusion. I dig that. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a head crab. Oh, <laughs> oh look at you. Oh, you're gross. I dig it. And that is a, um, is that an Alamo? I heard Mexico discovered aliens fairly recently, which is totally going to date this video. But um, they've been using, like, a shitty prop for it. And I don't know why, but the face just reminds me of that. Just, hello, Mr. Alien. I hope you're having a good time up there. Oh, no. Get axed. Oh. <laughs> Ew, the noises! Ew. Oh, you, uh, you basically can't axe these things. Oh, you're gross. Oh, oh, he's, um... Hmm. Hey, uh, you, you good, Mr. Uh, Headcrab? You having a good time? <laughs> Your hitbox is a little fucky, but that's okay. Really wish I hadn't lost most of my bullets there, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is Half-Life. I 100% I dig it. I, the world needs more Half-Life-inspired games, and I'm 100% I'm on board. 
Especially if this takes it in a, like, horror direction. Because, like, Half-Life, if you didn't know, was originally supposed to be a horror game. It was, like, a horror shooter. And you can see kind of... Oh. Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> but, um... You can see some of that in its design. But, oh. John Monster. Oh. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, that is crunchy. <laughs> but I was gonna say you can see some of that in its older designs. But uh, I'll take I'll take somebody trying to do something inspired by it. I'll take a, a more horror direction, like a conventional horror, if that makes sense. Also, side note: God damn, that is chunky. The guy just exploded. Oh, behind us. Okay, you can ask a question. There we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Owned. Give me my super shotgun, baby. Yeah. Super shotgun acquired. I know this is just a demo. I, I already like how the movement controls and feels. It feels very, very close to OG Half-Life. Like, for example, uh, head crab, killing head crab zombies with the crowbar. Groovy. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Ammo conservation is important. But killing headcrab zombies with the uh, crowbar feels almost exactly the same. I'm 100% on board. Is there a right click? No. More shells. I don't mind having a really good shotgun. I I definitely don't mind having a shotgun that kicks ass. Right now, I guess my biggest complaints would be that it feels really formulaic. I mean, I know it's a demo, so I'm not going to be too hard on it. And it's mostly just a like a vertical slice of what the game's got going on. It feels pretty formulaic right now. And um pickups feel a little I don't know. For the, they're trying to immerse you in the world by making you go through uh like vents and open doors and interact with things. So I think the solution for maybe pulling a, a little bit more immersion would be giving us more to immerse with here. Cause I like this facility. It's dank, it's disgusting, it's got you know, sterile floors, yet these things roaming around, but it, it just feels kind of empty, at, as of right now, at least. That opened the door back here, then, didn't it? Yeah, it opened this door back here. Not this one. What am I thinking of? That lever opened something. Eh, ah, whatever. We'll just go where we're intended to. I kind of wish, also, um, again, I'll, I'll suspend my, uh, my thoughts a little bit, because it's a demo, but... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I was hoping we get more pistol ammo, because, uh, shotgun's good and all, but let's let, get the pistol some time to shine. Shotgun, shotgun can be good, but let the pistol have its dues. There we go. Now it's open. And then, let me guess, when I'm walking around here, something's gonna pop around the corner and try and kill me. Right? Right here? No? Oh, I'm surprised. I figured that the dev would have no restraint and just put a, like, you know, an obvious monster somewhere that's just gonna, ooh, spooky, but... Nice. So it seems like they're set to spawn when we peek around corners. Like, there's probably going to be one that spawns around the corner when I walk up here, isn't there? No. No! Maybe I'm maybe I'm hallucinating. All right, I got a shotgun. I don't fear no- Oh, look, there he is! Out of this house. You don't scare me. I have a gun. I think it's a cute little demo, this is fine. I, I think the thing that shines the most, again, you have to suspend some disbelief because it's a demo and, you know, very, very rough. But I like the atmosphere a lot more than I like most of what's going on, like this. Look at this. It's like a heavy industrial aesthetic. The sounds are all all right. Whoa, that was a mouse movement. Oh, ah, nope, that is on my end. Do not Do not panic, that is on my end. Anyway, but, uh, I like the aesthetic, but there's just, I don't know, monsters leave a bit more to be desired. <coughs> oh, I can just stun them. Owned. That is a very chunky noise. Oh, oh, cool. More ammo. Health. Reload our pistol. Pistol kind of sucks compared to the shotgun. Oh, no. 
Uh, that needs to be fixed too, I think. Oh, so it like it like affects their hitboxes altogether. So I can't actually hit this guy. I'm gonna have to run into the next room to trigger their hitboxes. Can I hit the other one? Okay, I can. There's another one behind the door. So we're just gonna. There we go. Oof. Also, with how much hiccups we're getting, I think this guy, this dev needs to balance his pickups a bit. We have too little pistol ammo, too much health, and a decent amount of shotgun shells, I think. Assuming you're missing. Out. I felt like this is the only place where I could feel peace hanging here with the other scientists made it feel less lonely. They made the password based on the table numbers. It reminds me of the outer world. I miss home. Ah, yeah, it's scientists too. Scientists in a crusty facility. So what is it? Uh, is it based on the chairs? How does this work exactly? Based on the... Okay, so one, two, three... What? Is it just one, two, three, four? I'm, I'm not really... How does this work? Huh? Is it... I, okay, so what I was going to originally question was, is it based on the tables and the chairs, and the amount of chairs correlates to its position with the number? This is number one. But is it positioned on the keypad, or is it just... I don't necessarily get what this is trying to do for a puzzle. It's probably looking me square in the face. I'm just being dumb. I know it's opposite, so... Like, the, the chairs are opposite. Is there any hints to where... The code actually was? Maybe it's a position code? Because this one doesn't have a mark, so it's either. I'm assuming it's not part of it, but. So, how does this work? Two, three. So, is it more like. I was thinking position of the chairs. Maybe. No? One, two, three. No? What what am I missing here? I'm genuinely not sure what I'm missing. It was based on the position of the based on the chairs. Three. No. I'm just gonna try three 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 and see if that works. Come on. No. Based on the tables? No. The o Again, the only thing I could think of is that it'd be based on the chairs. But I'm not really interpreting what the arms are supposed to mean. I thought it may be like armrests or maybe based on the amount of chairs or something. But it just seems like one, two, three. Is it just... Let me try this. Hold on. Maybe... No. Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm trying to do now, so you guys understand, I was assuming it correlates to position of the room. If it's not numbers, it's their their place in the room. So I was like, oh, 793. But no, that's not it either. It's not 397 either. And then I thought maybe it's a little smaller where it's just four of them. So instead of something, it'd be like this. But that doesn't work. I'm not necessarily sure what I'm supposed to be interpreting from this. Position of the room, maybe? If we start from here? Then that would still go one, two, three. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the footage. I wanna see if I'm being a terminal skeleton brain or if maybe this is a uh, uh, like a fucky-wucky from the dev. Hold on. Okay, so rechecking my footage really quickly and uh, future me, remember to put this on the screen or get skill issued in the comments. <clears throat> the note says verbatim that they made the password based on table numbers. It reminds me of the outer world. I miss home. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Like... It, it, yeah, it's based on table numbers, all right. They made the password on table numbers, but... Um... 
Yeah? How about to... Wait, you could just... doesn't really make sense. The pickups were on the uh, tables, but it doesn't really... Maybe I'm missing a table. I'm gonna see if maybe I'm... Maybe there's a table around here somewhere that just kind of... No? It's fairly linear. I don't know. I guess there isn't. Also, unfortunately, I cannot fall to my death here. Maybe I can. Yep. <laughs> yep, I can. Hold on. Okay. Ow. Okay, we're back here. Yeah, so what does it mean by table numbers? One, three, two. Uh, look, the only thing I can defer here is small, big, uh, significant item. One, three, two. But how are you supposed to know that without reading the note? Oh, one, three, two. No! Three, one, two. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Up. Two plus one is four. I, I, I don't know. Am I, am I getting skill issued here? Or is this just like? Is it the? It's not the number of health. The, the amount of health it gives. It gives you right. That's too. That's too esoteric. But I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to interpret. It's one, two, three, and then an unmarked table. There is only three codes, so I assume it's one, two, three. Unless it's like... <sighs> Don't tell me it's like an addition thing. No, it wouldn't be an addition thing. Okay, hold on. My other thesis that I was going to propose, potentially, was... This table matches that table's stylings, right? So you have to add the numbers together, same with the other ones, to get that. But it's a... Uh, that wouldn't make sense. By that case, that would be... What? Four... Four, six? I don't think that's gonna work. But... Four, six, one? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Am I... Am I getting, like, skill issued here? Is there something I missed? I mean, I know the game's pretty rough, but I I want to believe I'm not this much of a brainlet here. I didn't miss something out here. At least I don't think I did. Based on the tables. Based on the tables. What does that mean? What could that potentially mean? Let me see here. Because again, checking through the, the recording really quick. Checking through the other recording. You'll hear the audio from this because I forgot to mute it. I have no idea. Is If it's based on enemy positions, I wouldn't know because I walked in through the door and they were already, you know, clipped on the door. So. They made the password based on table numbers. Well, that doesn't help me. Also, it doesn't help that there's an... Oh, in front of everything. Like, there's a zero. So if it's based on table numbers, what, what what am I supposed to gather from that? That it's based on... There's also a chance this puzzle just straight up isn't working. Considering we've run into more than our fair share of bugs and a bug warning at the beginning. I'm not, not sure. I'm going to check the comments really quick. Please hold. People have managed to get through this. Hmm. Yeah, people are commenting on the level design being nice. I'm gonna check a a video and see if maybe am I being skill issued here? Hold on. What? The fuck? How are you supposed to know that? Oh, one in three match stylings, but... Oh, that's weird. Okay, shout out to the guy who fucking made a YouTube video on this and spent, like, ten minutes getting lost on this puzzle and trying to figure it out as well. This is a puzzle that's just not clear enough. So the solution, you're supposed to know that by this being different, you're supposed to enter two first, then one, then three. 
Honestly, I should have tried that combination in retrospect, but there's nothing that indicates that that would be proper combination, I think. You hate demons. Oh no, it's him. The demon. Get super shotgun, nerd. Yeah, watch that. Look at this. Get kited around tables. Yeah, okay. Puzzle needs some work, because th that needs a clearer indication of what exactly you're supposed to be entering there in order. This doesn't really feel like there's any correlation aside from it's based on table numbers, I guess. Oh. And they really love giving you tons of ammo, huh? Locked. It's got potential. I guess my overall synopsis, it has got a lot of potential. What, behind me? Oh no. Hey. Also, monsters definitely need, I think, some work. Like the jump scare noise. Take that shit out. Take take the jump scare noise out. Let the monsters speak for themselves. But also, it's not really it's not really scary, I guess. The atmosphere is good, but um I kinda just I, I got it's got like room hallway syndrome. Oh, hello spider. It's got room hallway syndrome where it's just go between hallways and rooms, do thing in room, go to between hallway, maybe there's a monster, maybe there isn't. Where, I don't know, it's a little formulaic is basically what I'm leading towards. And removing some of the noises and letting the game speak for itself would definitely help. Let's see. Also, more stuff to interact with. Oh, no. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like losing its charm wave. Boo, spooky! Like, oh, see, it didn't do it for these guys. That's good. They actually got me. You know what I mean? And monster balancing could use some work where fast guy needs to be a bit faster. What is this? The hell is this? Oh. It's just straight up the exit. Okay. And that opens the door to the lobby. Okay. See, like, what's this? Is this, like, consoles? I'm assuming those are consoles. Like. I don't know. I just want more from this, I think. Like. It's got the the very, very basic bone structure of a, a Half-Life-inspired shooter. And it could do so much more with it. And I think if the dev continues what he's doing, puts in work, lay, relies more, makes more of a horror aesthetic, horror atmosphere, and relies less on loud noise thing pops around the corner, this could be really good. I, I liked it, at least. The gunplay feels fairly solid for what it is. Um... I do think hitboxes really need to be addressed because uh, things clipping on walls and being unable to, you know, you can't hit them is kind of odd. And just like general cleaning up a bit here and there, but the the basics, the movement, the feeling, the atmosphere, all of that's there. It just needs refinement. I say that like this at the end, but there might be a giant demon that pops out. Oh. Uh-oh, I don't have any of my guns. Uh-oh, giant spooky monster gonna screech at me and tell me it's a demo. Oh no! Who could have predicted? Ah! Spooky! Um, ow. Straight up not having a good time, that guy, huh? Our protagonist is uh, in the bone zone. For, we're like, just he's fucked. Oh no! Loud demon? No, that's us breathing. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I know people didn't get this far, but, uh... Hello, hello! Tommy God. Cool, doesn't commit the sin Half-Life did and made it use, uh, the same ammo as the pistol. Nice, they're both different. Get off, scum! <laughs> uh, cute little Tommy gun. I don't know if, like, hmm, that's the word I'm looking for. Again, I think, I think as this would get refined, as this would get, like, tweaked, this would be better. Because as it stands, it's, it's okay for what it is right now. Just a free little demo. It's okay. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a spider head. I thought that was a, okay. 
but it definitely needs the work, and I hope it gets it. We need more, we need more things like this. <clears throat> Salvation. It was my first assignment in this facility, asking the creepy guards in here to open the large gate so my fellow scientists can put their, I don't know what, to call it, to be honest, there. Yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, a dialogue needs another pass. Di dialogue for sure needs another pass, but it's fine. I like the weapon models. I didn't get it. I, ch I commented on it a bit with the blocky 1911, where you can tell it's a 1911 on its side, but I like that they took the time to extrude the, uh, you know, the hammer side and all that and give it like this. It's like low poly, but in a way that I don't mind. It's like textured. The shotgun's a little, a little crunchy. And then the Tommy gun is, it's a Tommy gun. It does it's advertised on the tin. Demon around the corner, right? <laughs> Oh, they just spawn in like that. I see. Good thing I got all that Tommy gun ammo. Oh no! One of those. So we'll we'll go to the end of this puzzle, and I think we'll stop. I think I've seen enough. Um, aside from, well, I don't. It's not really a puzzle, but. I think it needs to be a bit more clear on that other puzzle. Just how the, um, just a little bit. Use lighting. You, lighting would help a lot just to direct the player's eyes to what needs to go where. Like if the first table was lit up, but the other ones weren't as a starting point. You know what I mean? Something like that. But other than that, and just general refinements, I don't really have any comments. Just kind of, either he goes for jump scare spooky style where every two seconds something pops out around the wall and it just kind of whatever or he tries to do something different <laughs> yeah out of tommy gun ammo another demon they just spawned in i just watched them spawn in come on that's a sin never let me see your spooky monsters come in oh god There we go. Never let me see your spooky monsters spawn in. You know what I mean? That's that's like rule one. Oh, what the fuck is that? Man, this game's about to get a lot more spooky because I don't have health. <laughs> uh fuck. You know, good thing we um Good thing we're stopping fairly soon, too, because we're literally right at the, um... I, I have, like, a 30-minute cutoff. Look at that! It's him! The lad! The myth! The legend himself! Person. Yeah. Scripted cutscene. Okay. Oh, no! He's gonna break out by doing nothing. FPS boss fight. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's the end of the demo. Perfect. Um... Yeah, yeah, no, it needs it needs a lot of work, but I can see the potential here. Social media links are available in the main menu if you want to contact me. You can support the game by donating at a link at itch.io with two... Was that? Peace. <laughs> I, I like how he put the, uh, the, the quotations on one side. <laughs> but uh, overall thoughts, in case you find this dub. Uh, you need to remove the spooky noise when things pop out around the corner. Maybe tweak your sight lines a bit because after a certain point you can just start predicting they're coming around the corner they're coming around the corner they're coming around the corner you know lean in more to the environment uh more environmental puzzles and just environmental interactions would be good maybe just give your maybe uh give the player an option to open boxes to find certain things like there were a lot of uh filing cabinets and things thrown about but not really interactable they're just kind of glorified boxes um that puzzle was a little jank I mean, I could have brute forced it, but I don't think there was a clear way to denote which one was the starting number. Just, oh, it's based on the numbers. You know what I mean? Which, eh, eh. And then the health and ammo pickup-wise could use a whole tweak where I felt for 90% of this I had too much health, and then towards the end there I ran out, which is fine. I let the player run out of health, but it could use some tweaking. But overall, as a demo, I want to heavily say... I, I like this, and I am looking forward to seeing a more put-together version than what we got here. But that's not a bad thing. I think this was a good 
a good introduction to what this was. Anyway, my name is Archer. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't. Subscribe if you want to or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, stay safe, and don't get slash united by the spooky monsters. They, they, they're evil. They're stinky. Hate them. In a good way. Okay, bye.